Hello, welcome to One Punch Algo channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up a pre market scanner for free. And those who already have an account, yes, you can use um, some filters, some uh, additional features. And those who are actually willing to get the basic account with this uh, setup, you're free to use those services. All right, let's go ahead uh, and start this. So first visit onepunchalgo.com slash trading view and uh, once you visit that um, tab you, you will see something like this. Normally I would like to shut down some of this information first just in case you guys wanna just focus on to what we are trying to do right now. And the next one I like the layout to be darker so I'm gonna change that as well. Uh, go to the menu and then dark color theme and then you have the darker version. Uh, next one now we are going to set up the pre-market scanners for this you need to go down and then click the first tab which says stock screener and then uh, on the right hand side which says filters click it and then click reset and now you have a complete reset setup now again let's go to the PDF there are actually five setups that you guys need to focus on setting up the free pre-market scanner the first one is the pre-market change percentage so go to filter and then uh, copy paste pre-market change and you can see here pre-market change percentage sign and under the below input click above and then I like to normally use 10% or above data for the stocks that move more than 10% in the pre-market so put 10 there whatever you guys think if you think that you want to anything that is above five percent then you can you guys can do that too but i would go with ten percent you guys can see there are more than seven thousand one hundred sixty two matches which means there are seven thousand one hundred sixty two stocks out there uh, for the u.s market okay let's set this up and once you put the pre-market change percentage You can see the ticker changed to 24 now and th this data is coming from the friday data because i'm uh, actually uh, recording this one on, on a sunday so the data is coming on a friday pre-market uh, the next setup you guys want to add pre-market volume right all right so that's the one pre-market volume normally i like to go go with something uh, more than 200,000. So change the first input to 200,000. Don't change anything here. And now you have the setup. Uh, actually, the ticker change from 24 to 10, right? The next one you have to do, pick the exchange. Normally the default is any, but uh, pick NYSE, ARCA, NASDAQ, and then NYSE. Don't pick the OTC because OTC um, is something you guys actually don't want to. Uh, I for instance I won't trade all this stuff um, because my brokerage account doesn't allow that. Uh, OTC means actually uh, it's not in the default stock market where you can buy and sell it is actually in a different uh, one it's like uh, time out for a stock if it is less than one dollar so that's a separate uh, lead. Actually I want to say um, the links to this Take you guys to this trading view account is in my description please go to the description and click if you can remember the name here and if you guys need the PDF please ask it in the comment section and I will uh, send you the PDF just in case if you guys want to keep it with you and please guys please subscribe because uh, this is a series of educational videos that I'm going to do I will create a playlist of educations if you go to one punch algo channel uh, there will be a, a playlist for educational videos and this is the first one uh, i will be talking about pre-market scanners post-market scanners intraday scanners uh, one punch algo scanner and also breakout stock scanners in that video so on the ex exchange we did pick uh, four and now the ticker is the same so that's good the next one pick the symbol type uh, under the setups pick common stocks 
I'm not trading uh, ETF or anything like that, just common stocks. And after that, peak float. So normally, I would like to pick something less than 100 million uh, share float. But when I'm trading, I I like to trade for a stock less than 20 million. We do have a live stream session for pre-market scanners and uh, live live streaming for trading and uh, support and resistance levels from Monday to Friday from 7:40 a.m. Eastern Time to 9:30 a.m. Eastern Time. So you guys are welcome welcome to join with us and watch what we are doing. All right, so. Now you have everything set up. The only thing I would change again is the stock price. I leave it alone there, but you guys are welcome to pick something you are comfortable with. If you feel like you want to trade something less than $1, feel free to put $1 here and then the stocks will change. You see BNGO was less than $1, so it can pop up. If you want to trade anything uh, below five dollars then you can put there or if you want to actually trade something in between one dollar and five you can put that as well me for an example i always trade anything less than twenty dollars but I, I would keep it um, open because i want to see if there is any kind of breakout stocks for covid related uh, uh, news we ask a stock can go from twenty dollars to hundred dollars with uh, some good news right that's why I'm keeping it um, open. All right, so that's the first setup for the screener. Those who uh, doesn't have this account, actually you will get some uh, uh, advertisements, just click uh, close. And uh, when you can actually save the screen and then uh, again and again, you can come back and uh, use the same screener with whatever the label you are putting. Uh, for that, you actually need to create an account for free. Uh, so that, that way they can uh, save your details and the next step we want to set up the columns columns I like to start from below let's go ahead and pick the column where it says overview and then uh, the right hand button it says column setup click that and then let's just take these out all right so copy paste the first one where it says total shares outstanding all right all right so when we pick that one, you can see uh, there. This is the total shares outstanding for these stocks. So let's filter it out from the lowest shares um, outstanding. Normally, I like to trade something actually less than what it less than 20 million. So that way we can actually uh, trade based on supply and demand uh, for this stock with the news. So you guys can learn about these things if you can um, join our free market live stream. Next one the share float all right so that's the share float then the pre-market volume then the pre-market change percentage pre-market open and then pre-market high um, all right yeah so these are the stuff you guys actually need but i have 13 setups which i use you guys can uh, use this information um, to set your account as well free market account as well all right so this is how it looks like once you set it up um, so for the last friday i have um, 10 stocks and this is my column and this is the filter filter screener and now i can save it with the uh, whatever the labels i want and then you can actually activate the uh, alert which gives you the alert whenever uh, stock is moving up um, i can actually pick one minute information or five minutes information or anything like that because i do have a premium account here uh, for you guys you can uh, you are free to join for any uh, account they provide this is something a uh, service that actually i use for many of my trading stuff um, all right guys so please subscribe uh, now you guys have a free pre-market scanner for you to use but make sure you guys understand this if you're using the free account you have to create again and again the same set setup when you are using it again 
uh, if you have a like a free account you have to register with this uh, trading view site then they will save your information with their uh, profile that way you just don't have to recreate this again and again all right so thank you for listening to this video and i hope you guys learned something please comment what you think about this video and uh, if you guys actually want the post market scanners or the breakout scanners i will do a video around it i uh, if we get more than 100 likes for this video next one i will do easy post market screener um, and then uh, day, day trading screener and so and so um, thank you guys again subscribe um, uh, i have leave the link to the trading view account in this description please click that and go to the account and if you guys need the pdf please let me know i will email you guys the pdf thank you very much